demo. This is a demo for a feature that will be available in 4.0.10, uh, which is not yet released, but should be released sometime in the next few days. By the end of the week, 4.0.10 should be available. So where this feature came from was I was working today on this other project, Cypher Drive, that I work on sometimes, and I decided I wanted to um, make sure that I was using this developer defined correctly everywhere because I wanted to make sure I was doing if def and not if because they have similar behavior as long as you're setting it to one when you define it but I want to be also able to set it to zero and have all of those work or not set it to anything and have this work or whatever right like I want to be able to um, make sure that right now all the uses I have do if def and so I was searching through and you know obviously there's actually one right here that says if um, but the point is what I want to do today is show what I um, came up with which was i would recently been moving the uh, other things uh, word complete that also needed to search across all of the open buffers right so you could have a bunch of buffers open word complete would search all the buffers and find uh, ways to complete the word you were trying to complete. That's what it does. And so I was moving that to the custom code, and I figured, well, as long as I've got buffer searching in the custom code, why not also include um, this thing in the custom code now? So I can show you real quick. I've got all the code open for this project. The plan is if if there's a use of the word developer, and I haven't actually done this with all the code. I've tested it, and I showed on Twitter a test with a few um, occurrences up here and there, but it seems pretty solid now, so I'm going to, and I've added some nice little um, quick use things here and there, so I'm going to show how it works. So first, I hit Control shift f That's the default key binding for uh, listing all locations, and then I type in whatever it is I want to find, and it creates this search buffer. Okay, so the search buffer um, is read-only. I can't type into it, just like it's a compilation buffer or something else. And uh, it lists all of the files and the line number and column number where each every time it sees that word. So every time it saw developer, it made a note in the search buffer that it found um, the, in, the, in the system.h file at line 16, column 8, it found an occurrence of that word. And now what I have is this nice list that just lists all these locations. The next thing I wanted to do is I, I you can see I formatted it just like an error message from like GCC or something. So we've already got error parsing, which will also be available for everyone in 4010. Error parsing for GCC is in here, so I figured I could just print them out in that format and then I could use this buffer and parse the error the parse that line out just like it's an error and jump to it. So I can come to this line for instance and press return and it'll jump me to that spot and now I can fix it. Right, I saved the actual work of me fixing this um, for you. This buffer has all the properties of a normal buffer so I can look through it like that and there's another occurrence of an error so I jump to that one if def and finally are there any more this one yes the one we saw originally right so now I fixed them I fixed all of them and that's the that's the idea of this um, system and in general this applies to everything now all I did to make this work was say um, if you press enter while you're on a buffer, normally that inserts a new line, like so, but um, if it's a read-only buffer, instead of inserting a new line, since it can't write a new line anyway, it will read the line and treat that as a location that it can, it'll try to treat that as a location it can jump to. So it'll apply the entire error parsing rule to the line that cursor is on and jump to it. So if I want to go, if I'm looking through here for some other reason, I decide the render target's the one I want to look at, you just go to that one and it puts you right on the render targets uh, situation. So another just sort of, I don't know, I don't know how you want to, just a basic sort of feature um, that is pretty fundamental and just wasn't there before and I'm demoing this to show here it is, here's how Forcoder has set it up. And the other nice thing is, is all it takes for you as a customizer to make your own list of jump locations is for you to open up a buffer, set it to read only, and then print out the jump locations you want. And just like that, you can jump anywhere you want by using that buffer. Um, so that's it. That's the whole... Oh, did I undo that? I didn't mean to undo... I accidentally undid something. The undo system there, I did, some, did something I didn't mean to undo, or undid something I didn't want to undo. I'm not sure what happened. Anyway, um, thanks for joining for the demo, and I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.